So Facebook ads have been a thing for the past 15 years now at this point. That's right, Facebook ads launched in 2007, whereas TikTok's self-serve ad platform only launched back in 2020. If you've had a chance to explore both platforms, then you've definitely spotted a few similarities between the two. From their overall terminology to functionalities within their ads manager platforms, there are definitely a lot of similar things. Though they both offer very distinct approaches when it comes to advertising. From demographics to creative type and formats, you'll definitely wanna stay tuned to learn more about what platform you should be running ads on at this stage in your brand's journey. In this week's video, I'll be going over the differences and similarities between advertising on Facebook ads versus TikTok ads and which platforms you should choose. My name is Justin and I'm the founder of Wizzo Media, an e-commerce marketing agency specializing in elevating thriving brands by simplifying e-commerce growth. Before we get started, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, as well as turn on post notifications to be one of the first to know about these cutting edge e-commerce marketing tips posted on the channel every week. So first off in terms of terminology. So looking at both platforms, Facebook has something called your business manager, which holds your ads manager and then also holds all of your assets. So your page, you know, your Instagram accounts and so on. So the business manager is a bit the hub of everything. And then when you advertise, on the ads manager, you have sub ad accounts. So basically in terms of hierarchy, there's the business manager, the ads manager, and then your ad accounts right there. On the ad accounts, you advertise through your pages, so through your regular Facebook or Instagram page, which if somebody sees your ad, they could actually click on your page name and then end up on your Instagram account or your Facebook page. Looking at TikTok, the hierarchy is really similar, but they operate a little differently. So there's the business center at the top, which holds everything. So business center as opposed to the business manager with Facebook. And within the business center, you have your ad accounts. So you can have more than one ad accounts on there, but you have your ad accounts in your business center. And from there, you can advertise to the public. But if people end up clicking on your ads, so if you advertise from a TikTok ad account and people click on your name or on your profile picture, they will not end up on your regular TikTok profile on which you post your regular organic TikToks from. They'll end up on your website or any call to action that you have with this ad. So advertising from a TikTok ad account is not linked to your regular TikTok account. Those are two different things and people sometimes mix up having a TikTok business account with having a TikTok business center. Again, two very distinct things. Now, in terms of ad formats, TikTok offers two formats in which you can advertise from, pictures and videos, which is very similar to Facebook's offering. But in terms of formats, you obviously wanna opt for nine by 16 ratio on TikTok because usually those are full screen ads. And as opposed to Facebook, where there's many different placements on which you can have your ads, it's pretty much only feed on TikTok. You can also pick their partners a bit like with Facebook, which you can advertise on their partner platforms. But if you advertise on the regular TikTok feed, you definitely want to prioritize videos as photos will definitely scream ads and they're just out of place because what will people see when they scroll through TikTok? They'll see a bunch of videos. So you want to make sure that you fit within what they usually see which would be a video. Now when advertising on Facebook, there are many different types of creatives that you can have. You could have square creatives, you could have four by five aspect ratio, nine by 16, 16 by nine. So there's many different ratios that you can adopt, many different placements also. You can do that simply on desktop, simply on mobile feed, stories, reels. So Facebook offers a wider range of placements. Now in terms of getting results, so if we think about getting results with either or of these platforms, this is where things get very different. TikTok is very limited in the amount of copy that you can put in an ad. So there's barely one or two lines that you can put in terms of ad copy. The rest has to be said within the creative. So with TikTok, I would say the work is 99% creative. There's not much else you can do. And usually interest-based audiences at this time of recording this video, they don't really work well. So you go broad with the creative that'll appeal to the audience you wanna attract. So TikTok is pretty much 99% creative work, whereas looking at the platform like Facebook or Instagram ads, there's a lot more things that you can try and implement to get your ads to work. You can play with the creatives, 
Obviously, there's a huge creative focus since I was 14 on Facebook, but you can also play with the copy. You can try short form, long form copy, uh, many different types of copy, you know, more straightforward type. You can change your tone, a lot more play to do with the copywriting part of things on Facebook. And on Facebook, you can also play with many different types of placements. So you could have a different aspect ratio. You could play with still images versus a lifestyle shot. So in terms of creatives, it's very different. And looking at TikTok, you wanna make sure that your ads are like a regular organic TikTok. So TikTok ads, you have to follow trends. You can use, you know, trendy sounds. You have to follow these types of vibes that you would usually see on a TikTok because people will wanna interact with an ad that is very similar to what they're used with interacting with on their feed. So companies that really found some success on TikTok adapt pretty often. So there is a way to do an evergreen strategy on TikTok, but you'll have to often change creatives because again, there's not much else you can change on TikTok. So it's all about the creative turnaround that you can have. And in terms of creatives, you'll wanna make sure that you follow trends. You know, the trends on TikTok sometimes work for a month, maybe two max, but at that point, you'll definitely have to change and adapt and come out, you know, with new trendy videos. Now, in terms of boosted posts versus Spark ads, so that those are very different things that you can do on Facebook versus TikTok. So TikTok calls them Spark ads. On Facebook, they call them boosted posts, but they do interact and they do perform much differently. So a Facebook boosted post is kind of limited in the targeting uh, when you do a Facebook boosted post it's not really like running an ad it's a bit the level before running an actual ad so there's a lot less features that you can have when boosting a regular post so it is slightly different when you go on TikTok because of TikTok spark ads you can create an ad authorization code from one of your organic TikTok posts and make an ad out of that post you can also do something very similar with the Facebook post ID and make it an ad but TikTok calls them Spark ads. So they just have a very different naming convention for that. The difference on TikTok is that, again, with the regular TikTok ad account, people are not linked back to your TikTok account. If they click on your name, if they click on your profile pic, they go to your website. Whereas if you run TikTok Spark ads, people will actually be redirected back to your company's TikTok profile and to your just regular TikTok feed. So they're both, you know, fundamentally a very similar way of advertising, right? A Spark ad versus a boost post because you take an organic post and then you make it an ad, but the way it works on both platforms is slightly different. So now we've talked about similarities, you know, differences between the two platforms. Now let's talk about two things. And the first one being the most important part of this video, which platform should you choose to advertise on? So my recommendation is the following. If you already got a great organic audience on TikTok and you've cracked the organic code, meaning you've got, you know, about a little over 10,000 followers, you have some great videos, you've had a few viral videos and you're starting to know what will perform well, what won't, then it can be good for you to start running some TikTok ads. But if you don't have any engagement on TikTok, never to bid on the platform and you really want to get started for the first time on that platform, I highly recommend you start organically first test the platform, test what works, and then you start running ads. I would say early on in your journey, most people, so most people that will watch this video, I will recommend that you hop on Facebook ads because there's a lot more things you can control on Facebook ads. You can get away with a lot less work, in my opinion, than TikTok. I'm saying that because from a creator standpoint, if you're a brand owner and you're making everything yourself at that point, and obviously TikTok will require a lot of you know research, a lot of editing, and a lot of uh, basically coming up with really great and creative ideas for your ads. Whereas on Facebook, um, if you're already you know if you already know a lot about your product market fits, if you already know about your audience, it's a lot easier to let's say if you have bad creatives and at least maybe you can recuperate a few sales with your copy and so on. So there's many more things that you can test from on Facebook. So most likely you want to start there. And most people already have an organic audience on Instagram and, and Facebook. So they start there to post organically. So my advice overall is start with Facebook and Instagram and then build up your brand like that. And once you have enough engagements and once you've got something working and solid on Facebook and Instagram, 
Then you integrate TikTok as a secondary channel that'll enable you to create some omnipresence because your audience will be on either or of these platforms and will pretty much see you everywhere at that point. Now I've had meetings in the past with potential clients and prospects that wanted to hop on TikTok because it seems like it's the next, you know, best platform. It seems like all the hype is on there, but it's really important to say that TikTok is very specific platform and its demographic does not appeal to every type of brand. TikTok's audience, again, at the time of recording this video, so over 60% of the audience are 16 to 24 year olds, meaning that you have to advertise, you have to have products that appeal to a younger audience. So if you have products, as an example, like hair loss supplements, then definitely, you know, TikTok may not be the best choice because who might lose their hair? Probably gonna be a little older, you know, there may be, you know, middle aged, 40 year old, 50 year olds, and that's completely fine. These guys will most likely be a little more on Facebook, on Instagram, or maybe on Google. But again, TikTok may not be the best choice for these guys. I'm gonna add one more thing at the end of this video, which is there are new types of brands coming up right now that instead of going the usual route that we've been seeing in the past, you know, five to six years for e-com brands, which is you create an Instagram account, you create a Facebook account, and back in the days, you know, it was a lot more Facebook oriented. Nowadays, it's a lot more Instagram oriented. So you post stories, feed posts. A lot of brands are coming up and the first social media platforms they hop on is TikTok. So TikTok is the first place that they start posting organically. That's where they build their initial audience. And at that point, if that's you, then you are probably the exception to everything that I said in this video here, which is you could start running TikTok ads first because you've already got your engagement on there. So you would do the opposite of what I just mentioned, which is you start on TikTok and then you would diversify to Facebook and Instagram to create omnipresence afterwards. All in all, they're both really great platforms to advertise from, but they offer very distinct approaches when it comes to advertising. So Facebook has usually a lot more qualified traffic, whereas TikTok sends a massive amount of traffic to your site, but usually it's not the traffic that will convert the most, therefore dropping your conversion rate on your sites. But your CPMs are much cheaper on TikTok than you're on Facebook. So it really depends also on your objective. So you want to reach most people as possible to create you know, awareness or you really want sales. It's a bit of a mix of both. So for the reasons mentioned in this video, there is going to be one platform over the other you want to choose depending on where you're at in your journey and where you also initially started within your niche. Was that on TikTok or Instagram and Facebook? Now, if you're an e-commerce store owner making at least twenty to $30,000 a month with their brand, I would invite you to click on the first link in the description down below and book in a really short 15 minute demo call with our team. On that call, we'll be going over your brand, you know, your current marketing strategies and see if we'd be a good fit for each other. If we are, we'll end up partnering together and help you scale through paid ads. If we aren't, which is really not that bad of a scenario because you'll be leaving this call with a free action plan to implement on your own. So on that note, I'm gonna wish you guys a great week, a great day. Check out other videos on the channel for some more useful e-commerce marketing tips and I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.